Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can calculate the network address and the broadcast address of a network that is using a variable LAN subnet mask. Now, let's say if you are given an IP address 192.168.1.68 with the subnet mask slash 26. Now, remember that we can calculate for the network address of a network given the subnet mask of the network and any host IP address within the network. Also, remember that each IP address is 32 bit long and we have 8 bits in each out third of the IPv4 address. So, the first thing we do is to write down the given IP address 192.168.1.68 with the subnet mask of slash 26 which translates to 255.255.255.192 in decimal. So, looking at the fixed length mask, the closest point we have to slash 26 is the slash 24 mask. So, we are going to zoom in into the last octet starting from slash 24 onwards to do further calculations on counting the network address. So the first thing we do is to convert 68 from decimal into its binary form. And there are many ways you can do this. I recommend using a calculator to get it quickly. So after the conversions, you will get 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. From a slash 24 to slash 26, we know that there are two bits of the address that are being used as the network bits at the moment. And what we want to do is to set all ones for all the network bits. So in this case, we are going to set the first two bits, which is the 25th bits and the 26 bits to one. While all the remaining bits, which are representing the host bits, will be set to zero. Once you have that, the next thing we do would be to do an end operations between the IP address and the subnet mask. Now remember that in an end operations, anything n with 0 will give you a 0. And if you have 1 n with 1, then you get a 1. So in this case, we we'll start with the first bit here, 0 and 1, we we'll get a 0. 1, 1, we we'll get a 1. And we do this for the rest of the bits here, and we will get 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So that is the subnet address in the binary notations. Pressing the calculator, we will convert this number back to 64 in decimal value. Okay, now let's zoom back out. And here you will see that we have the complete network address which is 192.168.1.64. The next common question would be what is the broadcast address for this network? Continuing with what we had earlier, we are going to work on the last octet here. So this is the subnet address that we got earlier in binary notations. We will use this subnet address to get the broadcast address for this subnet. Now remember that the first two bits here are used to represent the network bits and the last six bits are used to represent the host bits. The rules to getting the broadcast address, which is also the last address of the network, is to set all the host bits to 1. So over here, for the network bit, we have the same 0, 1, while the rest of the host bit will be 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Having this value, next we will convert this number back to decimal notations and you'll get 1 to 7 after pressing the calculator. Okay, now let's zoom back out and you see that you'll get 192.168.1.68 
1.127 as the broadcast address for this network. So here you go, for the network address, we have 192.168.1.64 and the broadcast address is 192.168.1.127. Okay, so what we got so far is the range of this network where we have the first address which is also the network address and the last address which is also the broadcast address. Now how about the IP address that we can use to be assigned to the host within this network? For that, we need to find out what is a usable IP address range. To do so, we simply take the first address plus one to get the first usable address and we take the last address minus 1 to get the last usable address. In this case, this will translate to 192.168.1.65 as the first usable address and all the way up to 192.168.1.126 which is the last usable address.